It is beginning to look a lot like Christmas all over the place this weekend. And is there anything more Christmassy, do you think, than the sound of bells? Beautiful church bells. Uh, now, in Stowmarket Town Centre today, you could, uh, in fact, hear some hand bells uh, being rung, carols on them, uh, because the group performing them are raising funds for a very special project. To tell us more, uh, Dr Maureen Gardner, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So tell us about the restoration project. Well, it's a, it's a big project. In fact, we're not raising any more money, which is wonderful, because thanks to a lottery oh. grant, we've... Um, we've been able to get the whole thing going. And in fact, it should have been finished by now, but COVID has put us back and the bells are still sitting in Dorset. Right. So we thought we'd have a bit of fun anyway, something we'd planned, Christmas bells. It should have been the church bells and carols around the town on handbells, but we thought we'd go ahead anyway. Fantastic. So what is it you're actually going to be doing today then? Well, uh, six of us, uh, helped by some good friends from um, Buxall Bell Ringers, uh, are going to be ringing Christmas carols um, in the town centre. Um, we, we've been practising for months. Have you? Uh, and some of us are still not very good, but uh, we'll be trying very well, hard. Because what's the difference between, uh, I mean, I, know, I, know, I vaguely know what the difference is between a handbell and the ones you find in the church. Um, but I mean, so it doesn't, ne- being good at one doesn't necessarily make you good at the other one. Absolutely, it doesn't. <laughs> no, you ring in entirely different ways. And it's been a bit of a steep learning curve, learning to ring tunes on handbells. You know, it, it, it does, it's, not, it's not easy, but it's, it's, it's quite a quite an art, and it's been great learning. I must say. I bet it, I, I've had a little go before. Oh, actually, I yeah. have had a little go, and yes, I can confirm it's quite difficult. Um, <laughs> so, to, but tell me what else you're going to be doing because it's it's going to feel really festive as well. You've got some um, packs for families, is that right? We have, yes, yes. Well, we well again as part of the project, um, we've got discovery packs about bells and bell ringing in Stowe Market. And we're hoping to hand them out to people as we ring in the town centre and in the church and up by the museum. Mm. And um, yeah, just tell people that the bells are coming back, that Stone Market's bells, which have been there for 600 years, will be ringing again. Mm. And uh, I just hope they enjoy it, you know, enjoy hearing Christmas carols, more or less. Oh, I'm you sure. They'll be recognisable. <laughs> I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. And how long has this project been kind of taking place? Oh, goodness, yes. We started raising money in 2018. Um, we'd raised enough money by the time we got to the end of 2019 to place the order. And, of course, you know what happened. Um, I know. Yes. <laughs> and one... Covid and one or two mm. other setbacks just put the whole thing back. We should have been, we should have been ringing the bells eighteen months ago. So, so it's that sort of timescale. But it it hasn't been. Um, you haven't been completely without bells, have you? We've been without church bells. Yes, completely. And um, so, how how good is it going to feel when these are back? Oh, I can't tell you. Oh. It's going to be. It's going to be amazing. It's uh, and we, we eight bells went down the road to Bridport. And ten bells will be coming back, and Fantastic. it'll be the sound of Stowe Market bells. Our our old bells mostly will be there, but there'll be new bells as well. So the sound that's gone on all these centuries will be a bit different, but it'll still be there. And do you know yet when they are going to be back in in their rightful oh, home? With everything crossed and a discussion with a with a bell hanger a, a week ago. We really, really hope we'll be ringing for Easter, which would be pretty special. Can you imagine it? The, do you dare to imagine it? The first time you're all back together <laughs> I don't and you ring those it's bells. Too, it's, almost, it's almost sort of like tempting fate. But oh, yes, yeah. it will be splendid. It will be, ah, yes, it will be one of those moments, you know, which is in its own way historical, really. How wonderful. Uh, well, enjoy spreading the word today <laughs> and um, good luck with the handbells. How will you cover it? They're very difficult to cover should you hit the wrong note. Just cough over it, <laughs> well, Maureen, yes, a bit yes, loudly. Yes. We're hoping that, you know, if one of us goes slightly wrong and there will yeah. be six of us ringing 12 bells, that the yeah. others can, um, can cover us up till we can catch up again. Brilliant. And then we Brilliant. hope people will enjoy it. And just tell us when and where so people can come and see you today. Well, we're starting in the marketplace at 11 o'clock. We'll be in the church among the Christmas trees after that and then oh. back in the marketplace and then finishing up by 
Abbots Hall in front of the other collection of, well, one of the other collections of Christmas trees. Well, at about, at about one o'clock. So brilliant that sort of time. Well, enjoy and thank you so much for telling us all about it. A pleasure. Thank Enjoy. You. That's uh, Dr. Maureen Gardner, who you can see uh, handbell ringing in Stowmarket from uh, 11 o'clock at the marketplace today.